Hello everyone, welcome back. In this video, I'll be opening and assembling the Lego Technic set 8818, the Vaha Blaster and the um, D Desert Racer. I built the Vaha Blaster, which is this one here, in, in, a, in a previous video, in my last video, and I'll be building the Desert Racer, which is, I'm assuming is this one here, and I'll be building that one now. As you see, this, uh, this is a this is, a, a, this is an, an older Technic Lego set, as you see from the box. It's, it, it was released in 19, 1993. I picked it up second hand like, uh, a couple of weekends ago. I'm going to, I'm going to and one, one thing, and because it's a two in one set, Technic had to put all the instructions into one book, which is really helpful. I wish they'd do that now. Because when you buy a Technic two in one set, you've then got to upload it onto your, pull off the instructions on your phone, which is I agree it's better for the environment, but as a builder, I'd much rather have two sets of instructions like, um, like Tech used to do years and years ago when, when I was building, so. But, we can't, I can't really complain. So we've got all the bit, I've got all, now I've got all the bits in here. So let's get to the right instructions first. First of all, we have two six, six by one Technic, Technic bricks with the, with the holes in. And then we have two, two Technic black connectors, which go here like so and then you put these two bricks together like so and then at one end you put two Technic black connectors in like that next you use a Technic uh, 12 by 12 by 1 brick they also do a 15 by 1 as well which was always that was always really handy when you're building something big but that goes on there, and now we build the um, the piston bit. This is the same as the last, the same as it was on the in, on the other build. If you watch that video, try and find it in here somewhere. So you start off with one of these, a three three a three axle. A a grey piston piece with a piston head, which is already on there. I have actually bought two sets for this now, because because I wanted to have I'll, because. I wanted to do, actually do the two builds, so this is like the um, this is like a second set. So I do have the other one as well. So that bit goes on there like so. Next we have a a, a black twelve by one, which goes on the other side, which holds the piston piece in there like that. Then you have two Technic. Um, grey half studs which go on the fourth hole from the back I'll show you this in a minute just trying to find the other I moved the wheels out of the way because they just they take up a lot of space and they can be quite awkward like they go on there like so. Next we flip this over, then we have two black two by two by four Technic base plates. Be careful how you do this because I've just lost the piston piece here by turning it over because it's not quite secure enough yet. So you put one on the end and one 
on the joining on the adjoining bit and then you have a black six by one base plate which goes on the front that goes on there like so as you can see flip that over then you have two technic two two by two by one bricks Then you have a six, a six, a six axle which goes in the middle here, and this bit there. Be careful of that piston piece; it's still loose. So as you can see, I put the six axle on there. I'll try and show you that against my skin, so you can see it a bit more. And we also have um, two. We have a Technic two by four base plates and two, should have two, two six by one base plates, which go on the back as well. So that goes on there, like you've got the base plates on there. Obviously I can't move that around too much because the axle is still loose. Next we have um, a, a small cog, which is this one here. That should start holding the um, piston in place. Then you have a 12 axle, which is one of these. That goes along the back. like so and you put the piston on top of that on top of that and you have some then you have two Technic half half spacers which are these ones here in grey I don't think I've seen them in any other colour other than grey but I probably have at some point but I don't remember these are very useful pieces Let's attach these now. I'm trying to bounce these off so they're in the middle. If not, I can I'll just readjust them in a minute. There we go. So that's what we got on there now. It doesn't actually. It doesn't actually tell you which pieces you actually you actually need for each step on the second build. You're expected just to be able to. You, you've got to do it purely by sight. I'll show you what I mean. Oh, and on, oh, it's on the other one. They tell you what pieces you're actually going to need each time. So next we have two of the black three by one three by one roofing pieces, which have already been stickered. Then we've got two um, Technic One spacers, which are these ones here. That'll make that more secure. Then we've got a Technic four by two base plate. Just a Technic One, when I say Technic One, it means it's got holes in it. Because that's what they, because that's what they were. I think that's what they were originally built for. I'm not. I don't. I'm not 100 percent sure if they went on on any other Lego sets before that. But I could be wrong on that. But you never know. Next, we have a grey. Four axle. I 
think we're not, well, that's not going to go on there. I think I'll put one on each side by mistake. So on that side there, you've got a, a you've got a, a grey grey cog instead of an axle. Like I say, you can't really see the instructions aren't aren't that clear. So do bear with me on things like that, and and check everything yourself when you when you, when you build it yourself. And we have two yellow two by one base plates. going three, three in, like so. See that bit there, now the piston is actually moving now. Next you put the engine block on. But first we have two of the black two by one Technic bricks. A six by one axle that attaches onto the engine block piece here. This is a nice little brick. And then you have two of these yellow, like robot type arm pieces. Put those on like that. Find the other one. They go on like that. And you put the engine on top of the piston like so. And then you got now now you next now the next thing you do is you get a, an, eight, an eight axle. Should be one in there somewhere. That one looks like a six to me though. Yeah, that's an yeah, that's an eight axle. You can always tell the size of these by but actually actually by actually by measuring it up by by a sim by a piece with a when it says eight axle, it, um, it's like eight studs long. Very good technique tip for you there. That goes through there like so, which holds the engine block in place, and then that bit moves up and down at the moment. Then you've got two of these eight by eight by one eight by one black black base plate pieces and a yellow six by one six by one base plate, which goes on the top there. And holding that, you got an axle in there, and then that's what we got on there so far. Try and show you that. Now you've got to put these pieces up now, and you've got two of the yellow Technic coat hanger pieces. Call them coat hangers because of their shape. One goes on each side. For some reason, that's 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 rubbing on there. I'm trying to work out why, but.
that's because there's meant to be a spacer on that side. As you can see, the instructions on this aren't 100% clear. And when you start to pull it all apart, it doesn't help. So, so I'm going to try and put this back together again. With that, I have a half spacer on there. And that's moved again. Thank you. Do bear with me on this. gears on there. So that's how that should look. Got like a half space from there so those gears can turn and which then in turn turns that. They've got a full spacer which goes on the other side. I think that's now correct. So, as you see, that now goes up and down like that. It's got that piston that goes there. And you also have two yellow 1x4 base plates to go on, like so. Next, we make the steering wheel piece, which is a black one by one by two Technic brick with a with a grey half round and half cross stud, half cross connector. Now we make the spoiler piece, so that's should be two Two Technic 2x1 two bricks, which are these ones here, with a six axle going through them and a half spacer on each side, or spacer blocker. two grey coat hanger pieces. And you put two full put a full stud on each a full half full spacer on each side. And you got should have a 10 axle. That goes on there like so. And it should have another 10 axle, which attaches to the top bit on there. Yep. 
put that put this bit through this bit here first and then put it on here that goes on there like so Next we put the spoiler on, make the spoiler, so that's the a black 2x8 base plate and a black 1x8 base plate. It has a 2x2 two two flat with a number 8 sticker on it, which holds the two plates together, like so. That goes on there like that. You've got a a one cog piece for the steering wheel. Then you've got four of these wheels, two on each side and go on the back. goes on as well. We've got two of these um, round wheels, round cocks. Go on there. And you've got two more axle, two more end pieces go on the side here. two black coat hanger pieces which go on the side of the spoiler. They go on like that. Just look at the picture, just check I've got everything on here now because So this is apparently the desert. Is this, this is the, dip, the, the desert racer or the Baja Blaster. It could be one or the other. I think they could go either way, to be honest with you, looking at the descriptions. But this is quite a nice little build. I like the fact the piston goes up and down when you turn the wheel like that, try and show you. It is, it is essentially they just use the same mechanism slightly differently. And because they haven't got a steering wheel piece, they've used a gear. Use the gear gear wheel there. Overall, this is overall this second build is quite nice. But the clever thing they've done with this, I'll show you this quickly, is that if you've got a Technic nine volt motor, what you can do, right, with a few extra pieces, you will need a few extra pieces to do that. You can, if you can, remove the seat and actually attach a motor and you've got like a motor and, and motorize the motorize the vehicle just by um, just by putting the um, an elastic an elastic bands use one of these wheels here put an elastic band around it and it and, and, and it turns and it will drive it so that is a nice little touch but getting hold of one of these um, one of those nine volt motors now would be quite hard to do it has to be said because Especially, especially, especially one in good working order as well. So, but, but again, it, it, it's a nice touch. Uh, this, this is quite a nice little build. If I ever get hold on the get hold on these motors, I will attempt to do that. But until until then, I'll just keep with this build here. This is quite a nice little build. Um, I brought a second set um, uh, because I've got a second set. I've now got I've now got both the builds. So. So um, overall, I would go with the I would go with the initial buggy as as the better build. But if I had the motor, I'd probably go with this one here. So they are both very nice builds, and and it's a very nice set, a very nice set to get hold of. So, but 
If ever you're interested in um, picking up the setup, you, you can pick it up on the secondhand markets, um, either Facebook, um, Facebook selling page or something, or toy fair or anything like that. It is quite a nice little build. It's, it's, it's a fun little build, and it's um, I don't know what age limit they put on this because they don't put an age limit on these Technic sets anymore, unfortunately. Which on these on these older sets, like they used. To. Oh, there we go. Ages eight to eleven. Yeah, that's the that's what it's actually aimed at. So. If, 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 if you've got a child and you want them to sort of um, build Lego and learn, just buy them a couple of these as well. But if they enjoy the other stuff, it's actually worth, it's actually worth them having the other stuff as well because chances are that they'll incorporate this stuff into, the, um, um, into, your, into their normal Lego and they'll learn a lot more and get a lot more enjoyment out of it, like I did. Um, but that's, and that's another story for another day. But hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, do feel free to like, share, and subscribe. Have any comments or feedback on this video, do feel free to add them at the end of the video. I'll try to give mention my upcoming videos. I'd like to thank, um, it started with a click on Instagram for subscribing to my channel. Very much appreciate, I have subscribed back. Generally I do, um, as long as your, um, as long as your content isn't, um, doesn't, uh, as long as your content um, is like okay, I will generally I will generally subscribe back. There are certain circumstances where I won't, but but they are they are few and far between. Stay safe, keep building, and I hope to see you in my upcoming videos. Thank you for watching.